Hello, I'm Mabel Jung, and I'm pleased to welcome Pedro Irigoyen, one of the co-founders of Medical Home, a Spanish-speaking tele telecare company. Pedro, explain to me first, what is telecare? Okay, uh, Medical Home in Mexico is basically just a, a medical hotline, okay, mm -hmm. like in a, any given public system or government, but as different from that is we're a privately held company. It's a for-profit business. Okay. So it's a subscription-based medical hotline and coupled or bundled with a network of, of discounts across the nation. Okay, so let's back up to a bundling of, of, of uh, a bundling business that you have right now. So how, when you say telecare, people call into the hotline if they have medical problems at home and, and where do we go from there? Exactly, I mean once you're subscribed over the phone bill, that's how you get charged, five dollar fixed fee over your phone bill. Okay, that gives you access to limited doctors 24-7. Mm -hmm. And if we cannot solve your problem right there and then, you're referred to a 6,000 or so suppliers network of whether doctors, lab work, pharmacists, etc., that we bundle or negotiate in volume to get you up to 50% discount. Mm -hmm. How successful is the program now? Well, we're over in about 1.4 million households with over 5 million users. Okay, and mostly in Spanish-speaking communities in, uh, in the States and then also in Mexico? Uh, basically in Mexico, and we're doing startup and pilots in the States to the migrant markets out of Texas, Dallas, and we're starting operations in Peru and Colombia shortly. Mm -hmm. have, do you have any data on how helpful this service is for people calling in? Oh, definitely, and that's probably one of the main purposes we're here, okay. to share the experience. I mean, a very hard fact is that after literally millions of calls, one would say millions, we've been doing it over 10 years, and that's more than 100,000 calls per month. A single fact stands that about 62% of all calls are resolved there. If you translate that to a public medical health system, it means two out of three first contact or first primary care visits can be avoided over the phone. Completely over the phone? Yeah, completely. And what sort of calls are you getting? Oh, all sorts of calls. I mean, basically, of course, we're not, you know, it's not deep treatment. We're not treating cancer or things like that. Yes. It's primary care. You know, abdominal pain or nauseas or diarrheas or, I mean, minor aches or not of flus. But actually, we, we serve all sorts of, you know, we have actual doctors who answer in the phone. Mm -hmm. uh, is this, uh, do you also have an in-network uh, system where people have paid different prices for different services? Oh, no, it's just a one flea for, you know, flat fee for $5 for everyone. You no, know? what we do handle is that we're, since it's a medical business, it's a very sensitive issue to treat over the phone. So, so we abide to very strict protocols. First, medical protocols, which are provided by the Cleveland Clinic in the U.S. So even though actual doctors answer the phone, they strictly abide to following the whole procedure on screen, how to detect, and in less than a minute, we can pinpoint with 90% accuracy what, what do you have. Because we have to discard an emergency, first of all, right? So yeah, it's a pretty what if sophisticated. It is, yes, what if it is an emergency? What happens then? Okay, uh, we don't. You have unlimited calls, and we don't make money for you to call. I mean, when you call, we actually lose money. So what we do is we refer you, if it's an emergency, we send you an ambulance, or we refer you to the closest hospital, or to a specialist, or, I mean, that we do with every call, not, not even only emergencies, but you know, if we cannot solve your problem, we'll refer you, and you have to tell us what you want, by price, by specialty, by type of supplier, you know, by geography, what's the closest hospital, the closest doctor. Mm -hmm. Where are the doctors based that are usually manning the hotline? And they're all, of course, Spanish speaking. Yeah, yeah. Our operations are in Mexico City. We have full time about uh, 140 doctors at any given time answering the phone. Okay. Do you see this setting an example or paving the way for, for more telecare companies? Oh, definitely. I think we were actually born under the idea to outsource this to the Mexican national security system. It's taken us a while, we're not quite there yet. I think we were a little bit ahead of our times. It's hard to convince uh, especially politicians and doctors themselves, especially doctor unions, that you don't have to have a physical contact to accurately diagnose someone, okay? So uh, we're, we're making inroads and certainly I believe we're gonna see this as a mandatory compulsory thing 
everywhere. I mean, it's, it, it can grant you the power to offer universal access because everybody has a phone. Penetration is, you know, 100% everywhere in the world, even in the developing world. So, I mean, everything's going to converge here. I don't see why not your doctor, too. Okay, very good. Thank you so much for your time today. Thank you. I'm Mabel Jong. Thanks for watching.